Gabe. What? Are you ready to save lives? Um, I mean, I w- I came prepared. I have many tools at my disposal. I have my whiskey. I have uh, a Dr. Pepper. I also have some water. I don't have five beverages tonight. Um, I'm down from five to three, but you can almost guarantee that I'm going to have to piss at some point during this show. Can we discuss the Freudian nature of what it means for you to have so many drinks in the room when you podcast? Yeah, I would appreciate it. we delve into that for a second? I was actually in the pool. We put up a pool at my place today. And um, yeah, I, I was I was asking someone that I had over, I was like, is it wrong for me to have so many beverages at one time? And they were like, well, what do you mean by wrong? You know, it looked like I was an idiot. And they don't realize. I'm like, wow, the, the, then there must be a problem. If I think there's a problem, then there probably is a problem. Because I was like, I had an armful of beverages and I was thinking to myself, these are all for me. So what the flip is going on? <laughs> Gabe, did you have the problem with sharing when you were a kid? No, I've never had a problem with sharing <laughs> is the messed up part. That's that's my worst Freudian impression. I mean, that's right pretty there. good. I just rolled that one out for this. No, I appreciate it. I think it was good. I think this might I be think, this might be I the, think this is no, never mind. Go no, ahead. I was gonna say I think this might be the most successful cold open in the history of cold opens. Interesting, because I thought it derailed very quickly. I mean, I'm just going to roll with it. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Here we are. It is uh, the Wannabe Critic Podcast, and I am joined by Ethan Maestri. Ethan, how are you? I am I am excellent. This is, uh, this is an auspicious moment, an auspicious occasion. Um, I have a, a single drink. No, I'm sorry. I do have two drinks, so... Not as well off as you, but I, I'm ready to uh, take on this project and see where it takes us. So. Yeah, I want to I want to officially, um, you know, I'm going to raise I don't know if raising your glasses and pro- I'll raise my glass to you, sir. Uh, welcome to Wanna Be Critic Productions officially. Uh, anyone who's listened to the show for an extended period of time, you know, it had to happen. It had to happen at some point. And here we are. I appreciated your tweet the other day whenever I, you know, was trying to be courteous and welcome you to the family. Like in a Vin Diesel type of way. And um, you uh, were you said you were confused yet delighted. And uh, I put myself um, kind of I, I, for, and that, and that, at that point in time, I feel like I kind of felt like how my wife felt, uh, you know, whenever she agreed to, to marry me. Um, you know, she was delighted yet confused as to how she got there. Yes. Uh, yes it's, 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 it's as if yeah, I, th- this is a good thing. All in all, it's a good thing. But it's also still a little confusing because, you know, I, I was I was the guy that you you came over to record on my podcast and then you started your own thing and I've been able to guest and then now I've shut my podcast down and now I'm going to the student, the Padawan, and now I've um, it's just weird. It is kind of cool, but it's very much, uh, you know. Uh, and we're we're just going to be completely candid. Like I've told you from day one, day one since well, I not, started taking not completely it, candid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those things. that's like, dude, literally, anytime, like whenever. Basically, it was like whenever you're ready, just come on over. You know, you want to, you know, and come just go across the pond. So I'm glad it's happening, and it, it to me it feels no different than it's ever felt. You know, and it's one of those things like. I've been podcasting with the other guys over on the wannabe collective, um, you know, which they've were on this exact same feed for a long time. You, you guessed on that show, of course. And we've turned into a, you know, quite the cast of, of, you know, potters and go ahead. Well, I was going to say, have we told the audience here, here with us, have we told them what, uh, what this project is? I was getting to that. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So Sorry. basically, I'm new here. I'm new here. <laughs> I'm Sorry. new. Just, I don't know what to ignore. do. <laughs> oh God, Joe Dirt <laughs> with my hands. Yeah, he's just like, ah, <laughs> you're losing it. You're losing it. You're fired. No. Um, it we turned into quite the cast, you know. And it's like, God, I just, I, I was always waiting, you know, for that opportunity and that like thing to come up. And I remember it wasn't so long ago I called you. It was after you shut down your podcast, and I was like, I'm gonna let it breathe, and then I'm gonna, you know, then it's gonna, it's gonna be time, I think. And uh. Basically, what this is, ladies and gentlemen, is the Wannabe Critic podcast is officially changing direction, right? So we've done kind of a soft rebrand in a way. Um, I think it's it's been good this past year. 
to evaluate all these different projects. And we had the music show. We had Game Club. We had a guy and his wife. We had all these shows just pop up right around this time last year. And over the course of a year, I have loved working on all of it. It has been so amazing and humbling and very – it's just been a very – awesome experience to be able to, to create stuff and feel confident, you know, in the things that you're creating. And, um, you know, I think after about a year of doing all of that, it's been, it's been a, a consolidation process of, okay, this is what I like doing the most. This is the thing I want to focus the most time on. This is where I want my personal ventures to go because, you know, want to be critic productions is supposed to be a group thing. Um, hence the name, you know, want to be collective. So, I feel like things have gone a different direction for me personally to where I am very much focusing on a different thing, you know, for, for my personal ventures rather than the group stuff. But one thing that I felt was really missing was just being able to get together and talk about all the weird stuff that's happening. Um, you know, all the stuff, all the weird stuff, my freaking computer is making all this noise, all the weird stuff that's happening in the world, uh, whether it be in the entertainment world or, you know, Ethan has nerd stuff, you know, space stuff he wants to talk about, which, you know, we don't really have that on the show. We we tried the thing of trying to talk about news, but it always turns into a thing like I'm the one that usually has most of the news stuff coming in. And if you wonder, whenever you're, you know, sitting down with four guys from a few different time zones and you want to sit down for an hour and a half, you're going to pick things that maybe, maybe one person wants to talk about. Maybe if you're lucky. And. Ethan was just kind of always that guy that was like, I could call him about anything. And it's like, dude, yes, I thought about that same thing. Please go ahead. Well, I was going to say on the old show, that was a part that was part and parcel to each of the uh, issues that we came out with over there on AOG was being able to talk about news, things that interested me particularly and whoever else came to that particular issue. They would bring a headline or two that interested them. And that is something that over the last year and a half with COVID has definitely had to fall by the wayside because of just the way the show was being made, if you want to call it that. It it wasn't. It was just whatever. <laughs> Throw some notes down and go. But, you know, that that whole thing of, of taking what was going on in tech world, entertainment world, news space, whatever interests might be out there, uh, that kind of got eschewed because of just the situation with recording. And when you came to me, you were saying, you know, that's something you miss. It was definitely something that I was missing. And uh, so this is the perfect format to, uh, you know, chop it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, we we, we know exactly what we want it to be. And it was kind of like just like a no, n nothing held back. You know, it's like, we're going to say it. And, you know, we might have to check each other from time to time. That's how it was on Age of Geek. I remember being in the Age of Geek studio and the air getting so thick in there that you could cut it with a freaking knife. And I'm like, holy crap, Ethan is going to kill this guy, you know, and because you could just feel it like there was like and it was over. It Sometimes it was over serious stuff. Sometimes it was over dumb stuff. But either way, that to me, that's like good podcasting and not to say that our other podcasts aren't good. It's just different. There's a different vibe for what we go for over on the wannabe collective. That's a whole, that's a whole garbage can just full of all kinds of nonsense. You know, it's like, whatever goes over there. You got beer bros. You, you, you know it, you you've listened to it on this exact same podcast feed, but I very much wanted this, this project to kind of stand on its own two feet. And to kind of just be a little bit different. We're not going to put it in with the collective. It's going to be its own thing. And we're, we're throwing around a couple of names. You know, we would have decided on the name by this point, I'm sure, by the time this comes out. But I think, you know, we're just going to start like. Dude, if, if we're going to do this together, one thing you never do, don't ever show the audience how you make the sausage around here. Well, That's Ethan, I hope you've enjoyed I'm your just, time. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Um. No, I am kidding. I'm not. No, I, it's, I, dude, it's your show. I would hope not. Don't don't be that. Don't be Ryan. Don't do that. He's like, it's your show. You do your thing. It's like and then you're going to you're going to have the best takes. No. Um, but anyways, no, I'm, I'm happy with with what's you know going on here. And uh, I'm excited. This is going to be our first episode. And it's it's a, it's really exciting to have another. I'm, I'm excited to have this type of content back, you know. Because uh, I've missed it. And not to say it, it's hard because when you have one or two guys that maybe want to talk about this thing, you have the other two or three guys are just like sitting there twiddling their thumbs. They don't care, you know. And again, you know, I don't want to have to rush. Like if I'm talking about something, I don't have to rush 
my point. You know what I mean? It's like, I want to talk about it until we're ready to move on. So here we are. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Hello, whatever possessed you to check out any of the content that you saw today, I just want to say thank you so much for doing so. If you check the description down below, you'll see that there's a variety of different projects that I'm associated with. This is Wannabe Critic Productions after all. So I just wanted to say if you enjoyed what you saw today, consider giving some of those other projects a chance as well. There's a lot of stuff that uh, I'm a part of that I, you know, that, that I do. If you were here for me or for someone else that you saw today, um, again, just thank you for checking it out and uh, I hope to see you again. But until next time, I'm Gabriel Fast and I'll always be the wannabe critic.